Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. In this video I'm going to talk about Say Embryo Intentions AI. Now you can hear them chattering Alpha, already in the background. I've got it turned on. It's a revolutionary ATC program for PC only at the moment but it's quite exciting for where ATC may go for both platforms Xbox and PC in the future. Just a moment. Heathrow ground. Radio check, please. Let's see him respond to that. So I'll be talking about this new ATC program in this video. I'll be showing you... Hotel Delta, Roger, readability five. Thank you. I'll be showing you the pricing, how to set the thing up. And then I'll be actually doing a little bit of a tutorial flight, a circuit around Heathrow, to see how this ATC adapts. Delta, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> to see how this ATC adapts to your own voice. It's actually very impressive. You don't want to miss this one. Listen, let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so let's show you where you get from what it's about, basically. I'll show you the website. I'll link this down below in the description. Of course, this is the homepage. Experience true ATC immersion. Nobody can do what we do, and I've not seen this before on an ATC program. It is quite impressive. Nobody. And you can read the rest of that yourself. There's a free, well, there's a free 24-hour trial. You do have to pay some, like, 82p to do that, so it's not completely... Completely free from what I've seen, but near enough free. Multilingual, so ATC speaks and understands 14 different languages. You can read this yourself. Enhanced by Navigraph, worldwide coverage. Yeah, I've tried this in all a lot of different airports around the world. It's quite impressive. And there's tour guides and goodness knows what. So like I said, I'll link this down below in the description. You can go and look at this yourself. Let's just quickly, while we're here, look at the pricing here. Now, free trial. Like I said, you have to pay something like 82p, so it's near enough free. I do urge people with PC Microsoft Flight Sim to try this. I'll come back to that later. It is only on PC at the moment. It's just quite uh, interesting to where ATC may go to in the future if supported properly by a Sobo. Well, there you go. If you want a monthly subscription, though, it's around $30. What would that be? About £25 a month? And then yearly $300. Now, Say Intentions uh, AI did actually give me a couple of months so I can play around with this. Um, thank you very much. But I'm not sponsored by them, so I'm free to say what I, what I feel. I do feel this pricing needs to come down a little bit. I understand there's a lot of work put into this and they have to pay their overheads and goodness knows what. But I feel, you know, even knocking $10, so $19.95 or, you know, what will that be? Maybe even 200 for the year or something of that sort. Even knocking the price down, you're going to get more people likely to take out a monthly and annual subscription. Just feels a little bit on the high side. Side. But let's give the program uh, a good going over before I'll show you what it can do before you fully decide. If you do want to try it, I do urge you to do this. Just go and fill out your email, Discord handle if you have one, first name, last name, and your password. And then there is around 82p, I believe, something of that sort to pay. Uh, it, but I do urge people to try out, try it out on a trial. You get the full program, I believe, on that trial as well. So there you go. Now, I do have Flight Sim. I've got you re in desktop mode. So I've got Flight Sim running in the background. And I've got the Say Intentions AI. So when you buy it, you get a link to a download, which I've downloaded. When you spawn in, don't spawn in on the active runway. Spawn in at a gate somewhere. Otherwise, the uh, ATC on Say Intentions AI may well yell at you. 
But if you're doing this type of thing, think of that sim. You wouldn't start on an active runway, you start on a gate and then ask for taxi permissions, that type of thing. We can leave that running in the background, it'll do no harm. When you do spawn in, in, spawn in at an airport, uh, and I believe I've got this on the same screen, but you can put this to a second screen, I believe. I did reach out to Say Intentions AI, they've not got back to me yet, whether you can have this on a tablet or something may be possible but yeah you know if you've got two screens or separate screen you can put this on uh, I, and you want flight sim and full screen that's the way I would go but it gives you things like ground frequencies now I'm using the Logitech radio panel link to a video of that down below in the description if you don't know what that means it's very handy when doing, doing this type of thing ATIS clearance tower these three really ATIS ground and tower that you want to pay particular attention to uh, don't worry about this chatter that's what I was just recording in the intro as you saw and I'll come back to this if you have this box showing uh, it's actually very useful later on. So that's let's go to settings. This will be the important thing. You put your email and password in. People, this is my business email. So when I'm reaching out to businesses or they reach out to me, that's what I use that for. If you have questions, a few people have emailed me on this email. I'm not answering questions, your questions on this email. It's not for that. We've got Discord, which is linked down below. Or we've got the videos that I post on my channel if you want to ask questions. So please just leave that for business inquiries. But there you go. Email, password, uh, your language. I've got it in English, United Kingdom. And that should do for that. And you can have things like a what's that, squelch tail effect, uh, ground loop effect, that type of thing. So when you're talking to ATC, I believe that would be font size. And then you go identify. Now, this is important. When you're talking to ATC, and I'll, I'll show you this in a little demonstration in a moment, you would say your long call sign, Skyhawk Hotel, Uniform Delta Delta, permission to taxi, or your intentions on your flight, or goodness knows what. And that's your short call sign. So obviously, Hotel Uniform Delta Delta, that's HUD. And Skyhawk, you would need something of that sort at the beginning of your long call sign. So yours could be Skyhawk, Uniform, I don't, I don't know, Yankee, uh, Echo, Echo, just for an, an example. But I've got it written down next to me, just in case I forget that. But I've been saying that for some time. Uh, and that's my tail number, of course. So there you go. I don't think it's a tail number on this aircraft, but never mind, that's my typical tail number. Headsets, this will be imp an important one. Your microphone, use, put in here the microphone you'll be using, obviously. Hit record and do a little bit of a test. Testing, testing, testing. Stop that and play it back. Test. Testing, testing. There you go. So it works okay. I know that microphone works okay. And your output device. Controls, this will be another one you'll have to set up now. You'll, uh, all you need to do here is se select event there. Uh, Com radio push to talk. So when I hit a button on my controller, it's on my XPC Yoka red button. It's button number four. That's my push to talk button. So essentially, pick a button on your controller or your keyboard, a key on your keyboard, for push to talk. Hold it down when you're talking to ATC. The thing is, now, if I didn't have push to talk, ATC could hear everything I'm saying. I uh, don't think it allows that. I know it doesn't allow an open mic, so you do need a push to talk button you got things like multiplayer now you can have can you can have uh, other people if you got uh, I've got it on a live server I can have that enabled so if anybody's using say intentions AI they can hear me I can hear them they can't hear me so if you're worried about other people hearing you you only want the AI to hear you just put this on listen only or disabled for other people here and there you go, and there's nothing much more to do there. The most important ones there would be the, you know, email and password and your language. Set up your call sign and obviously your headset and a button, push to talk button. And that's it, and we're away to go. So let me now give you a quick demonstration of what this incredible ATC program can do. Okay, so demonstration time now. I'm in the Cessna 182 parked up at gate 216, I believe it is, at Heathrow Airport. I guess any old gate will do. Now, 
I've got it in window mode, I've got you in window mode, so I can show you this window easily without messing around with OBS too much. It's just an easier way to do it. I've got my radio set to ground. I think, believe it's on ground at the moment. And I want this set to 80s. You want to listen to 80s first and get the information. But because before you request taxi, you've got to say whether you have the information and there's a code word on the 80s. So let's get to the sim. Let's go down to here. Just need to change this number to 925. I'll do it on my radio panel. Link to that down below in the description. Make it active. Airport information kilo. 1120 Zulu. Wind 230 at 15. Visibility 10. Sky conditions. No cloud detected. Temperature 19er. Dudzima 11. QNH 1029er. Visual approach. Okay, I'm just going to go news. through all that, but information Advise is kilo. Heading. That's important, so I've just swapped my nav back to ground. Let's just do another radio test, and I'll keep this window open so you can see where this could be useful. Heathrow Ground, good afternoon. Radio check, please. And there you go. It will actually bring up what you just said. Sometimes it doesn't if it doesn't understand you. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, Roger Readability 5. Ah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> there, there, it's brought it up. And then it takes a moment while the ATC, the AI, thinks about it. And of course, internet speed may. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, you're welcome. <laughs> now, I'm not this way inclined. I'm just going to play with this guy for a moment. You have a lovely voice. I'm not that way inclined. Don't think that I'm just playing around with this AI just to see what he says. It'll be interesting to see what they... Sometimes they can say. Oh! Skyhawk Hotel Delta, thank you. <laughs> I've made a new friend. Okay, that's fine. I'll tell you what, let's find the active runway. Heathrow Ground, active runway, please. Just find out what the active runway is. See what he says here. Just thinking about it, that's why I've got you in. Ah. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, active runway is 27 right. Thank you. Is he going to come back and say you're welcome again? <laughs> it's just brilliant. It just adapts to your voice as well. The more you use it, apparently, the more it adapts to your voice. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, you're welcome. What I said to him before, the previous when I was testing it, you got a lovely voice. He said, say again. <laughs> he got offended, I think. It's just interesting. Okay. Heathrow Ground, landing runway, please. So I'll see which is the landing runway. It's probably the same one. 27 right, which is typically the correct for Heathrow Airport. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, you're welcome. No, no, no. Heathrow Ground, what's the landing runway, please? Yeah, sometimes it doesn't understand and it will adapt to think, well, what did he mean this? It comes up here wrong, what you said. Sometimes it's like he too instead of Heathrow, but it understands. Ah. Skyhawk Hotel Delta landing runway is 27 right. Perfect, so we know it's 27 right. So I'll tell you what, chaps, enough playing around here. I'm going to request a taxi to runway. Heathrow Ground, this is Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta requesting taxi to active runway, please. There you go. So, obviously when I'm speaking, I'm using my push to talk button. There you go. It's thinking about it, and it will come back in a moment. And this is where having this window will be useful, as you'll see. So, just a moment. Let it just think about that. Skyhawk Hotel Delta Taxi to runway 27 right via Kilo Bravo Lima Alpha. Contact tower on 118.5 when ready for departure. Taxi to runway 27 right via Kilo Bravo Lima Alpha. Contact tower on 118.5 when ready for departure. Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta. And there you go, it's, it's got all that right, isn't it? And the thing is, 
when you say that, that's what you when you're on VATSIM, this is why this might be good practice for VATSIM. What the VATSIM controllers will do is say your read back is correct, or if you had it wrong, uh, your read back is wrong. The advantage of this, this window, if you have it open, you've got the instructions for the taxi. So let's jump into the cockpit and get into the aircraft, get to my map. I'm using the GTN XI, which is brilliant for this type of thing, because if you zoom in close enough, you can see the taxiways. There you go. So he wants me to taxi. Uh, link to a video I did about the GTN XI down below in the description. It's just absolutely fantastic. Something I'll use all the time with aircraft that support it. So, Kilo, which Focus one was it? Foxtrot, Romeo, Kilo, runway, Bravo, Lima. Alpha. Crossing runway 24, contacting yep. ground on so he wants me to go this way. Niner. Kilo, Bravo, Lima, Alpha. Romeo. And then hold short of runway 27 right. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? So there you go. And if you don't have that, just get a, a diagram of Heathrow, you know, a chart box or even better, Navigraph, something of that sort. So you can see where the taxiways are and what their uh, designations are. So this is the way he wants me to go. So that's fine. What I have noticed, I'm going to request pushback just to expedite things a little bit what i have noticed it that is that if you go off your taxiway the atc doesn't shout at you if you are on that sim they won't shout at you they'll just say uh skyhawk hotel uniform delta delta you, you're on the wrong taxiway can you taxi via this way since you're in that area type of thing doesn't seem to do that from what i've seen or what I've experienced in this program. We won't do that, we'll follow the correct taxiway. So the pushback truck is in. Uh, you know what I need to do, chaps? I need to just turn on. Why are my rudder pedals not on? Just bear with me, I'm just reaching down below me. You'll hear a couple of beeps just while I turn them on. Cycle it through, turn it on. There we go, now it's on. Now, have I not released my parking brake? Uh, I have now. And just let me make sure that my rudder pedals are behaving as should be. Yep, they certainly are. So there you go, we'll push back. And what I'll do, I'll follow that route just to expedite things and get towards our holding point of runway 23 right. Change of plans, people. I thought I'll show you the full flight. So what I do when I go inside my aircraft, I've got it in this view so I can see the taxiways I need to King follow Air, more clearly. Kilo Alpha. Continue taxi via taxi and ways. you can hear the Bravo chatter going on now. These are mostly AI pilots. You'll know they're real when... Uh, you know they're real. I'm recording this, this in a different way, so you won't see the ATC window any longer. I've shown you that. Uh, I'm just recording it in a better view for you, so you get the best, hopefully, best performance from this. Uh, although I do find G-Force generally is the better way. It's just easier doing it through OBS at the moment. Or the clearer picture for you. But you should be okay. So, yeah, following this taxiway. Bravo now. Then on to Lima. Which will be coming up soon, not this first turning by the looks of things. So we'll just carry on. Now while that's happening, I'm going to look at my ATC and I need to tune in for tower 124.475. Tree, tree, tree. Let's bring back my throttle Holding while I'm doing that. Taxiway, Delta four seven. Tree, tree, Lima, Juliet. Well, let me just see. 124 decimal tower 475. 475, so I'm just using my radio panel just to make that a bit easier on myself. 47, just going to break there because I'm probably on the grass now. <laughs> 475, there you go, that's tower. Oops. 475. Yeah, I was on the grass, Hold there you go. Taxiway, Bravo. See, he's not shouting at me, is he? On Lima. Holding short of Bravo Embraer. Echo now he's coming. Oh, actually, I was uh, almost on Alpha there, so we'll carry on to the left there, over Tornado the grass. Excuse me, ATC. There's the runway, road. so we're almost there. It's only a short taxiway. Goodness, there's a lot of chatter going on, isn't there? Right, so we just need to get to there. Bring back that throttle. I don't need to go speedy Gonzalez here. Just trying to 
get off the grass basically. So there you go, I'm near enough follow the taxiway. I'm sure they're okay with that. And what we'll do, we'll hold short here and then contact the tower. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with you in this tutorial and how it adapts. So we're going to do a pattern basically. I just need to remind myself, we take off, we go on our crosswind, then our downwind and then base leg. Crosswind, down, downwind and base. So let me just put my parking brake on. And we'll contact, we'll swap it over, make that COM1, now the tower. Let's contact them. Heathrow Tower, this is Skyhawk Hotel, Uniform Delta Delta, requesting right hand pattern. See if this works. Hopefully I'm on the right frequency, if not you can see my mistakes. But we'll just let them respond. It's just thinking about it. I've got the box open. You don't need to see this, but I've got... There you go. Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta Heathrow Tower. Enter left downwind for runway 27 right. So he wants me to enter left downwind. That's fine. I'll follow his instructions. Oops. Press the right button. Then I keep it out there. Enter left downwind for runway 27 right. Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta. Now, what would normally happen is that they would come back to you and say, read back correct, or that's not correct. No, that's not correct. This is the correct. Enter downwind for runway 27 right. Okay. I don't think it's picked up properly there. I'm going to re-request re that. Heathrow Tower, this is Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta. Requesting right-hand pattern, please. Ah. No, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake again. I'll redo this, people. That's my mistake. And this is where the AI may com be confused. It's probably thinking I'm in the air. I should have told them I'm holding short of runway 23. Doesn't know where I am at the moment. Skyhawk Hotel oh. Delta right hand pattern approved for runway 27 right after takeoff climb and maintain pattern altitude 1000 report downwind. It does understand now. I, I was mistaken, so it's adapted. Isn't that brilliant? Right hand pattern, pattern approved for runway 27 right after takeoff, climb and maintain pattern altitude 1000, report downwind. Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta. Ah, so I'll just do this outside the aircraft 1000 feet on my multi panel. Link to that down below in the description as well. Uh, so, what I'll do, I'll get on the runway. I've got my altitude set to 1000 feet. Take the parking brake off. So I'm not panicking, I'm talking to AI. If I was talking to Vatsim, I'd be making all kinds of mistakes by now. But with I'm talking to ATC, uh, yeah, I feel a lot easier. Sorry, I do have the chatter on in the background, so I'm talking to Tower now. And I've got ground on my standby, so when I land, I need to go back to ground again. Standby frequency on my radio panel here, COM1. My COM1 frequency, so I'll just get on the runway here. Oops, anybody landing? Bernie 824, Foxtrot Delta, extend uh, downwind aisle. What if you are? Base. Sorry, chaps. Extending downwind, awaiting base call. Mooney if you're on VATSIM, because there's a lot of chatter, isn't there? If I, if I was on VATSIM, you know, they, 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 you wouldn't have all this sort of I'm just in a general open uh, multi -ser uh, server at the moment. I think it's North Europe, possibly, at the moment. Anyway, we'll take off. Up we go. And I shall report when I'm downwind. Beechcraft 9001 Bravo cleared for takeoff runway 30. Is that a real person? Runway 30 Beechcraft 9001 Bravo. That's not, but was that controller? Maybe the controller sounds very realistic, doesn't she? Okay, let's put it into sync the heading bug. Bug up, just using Flow for that. Flow Pro. Autopilot on, multi panel time, into heading mode, and let's just see, did it say left? Right hand pattern approved. Report downwind. So when I want to turn to the right, I'll turn 90 degrees to the right. There you go, it's climbing up. Bit too much vertical speed for my liking there. Let's put it to about 900 feet again, just doing that on my multi panel. What I'll do, I'll just turn to the north here, my heading bug. And then report. I've cleared the runway. 
Let's go a little bit further and do this properly. I'll just come here, zoom out, so I can see my aircraft where it is. Like, it's following the aircraft now, just so I've got Heathrow in sight, so I can just do a pattern visually there. So I'm going to turn to the right. Right, let's do that now. So let's put it on north here, the heading bug. And once it's established on my downwind, I shall report that. Don't need to go so fast. Let's bring the throttle back. You can do this in a Cessna 172. Probably be easier in a 172, to be fair. There you go. So I'm just turning 90 degrees onto the down... Uh, onto the uh, uh, crosswind leg. Yeah, this is the crosswind leg first, isn't it? Not downwind. Surely report crosswind. Now report my crosswind. Skyhawk Hotel Uniform Delta Delta on crosswind leg. See what they say. I'm at a thousand feet. I'm fine. If I wasn't, it might tell me to get back down to a thousand. It's thinking about it. I've got the box open, seeing what it's doing. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, Roger. Report downwind leg. Skyhawk Hotel Delta. So basically, I can just use my short. And I should go back to him and say, I'll report. In fact, I can just... I don't think I need to go back to him to confirm that. I'll just report when I'm on downwind. And that's a proper procedure. So let's just come in a, bit, a little bit on this map. No, let's go out. That's a good view. I go downwind now, so I want to come to the east. Heading bug towards the east, 90 degrees. Let's go on my downwind leg. Again, that's slow. I've got it 60% throttle. It still wants to zoom ahead. Give you a better view. When I'm established on the downwind, I'll let him know. And then he'll tell me to report base, which is the last leg before you land, basically. Just doing a pattern, basically. Go on Google patterns if you don't know what they are. They're pretty easy and good way to learn to fly certain aircraft. Warrior Tree 7-1 Bravo, Charlie cleared for takeoff, runway 27. It's very realistic, cleared isn't it? For it's like being on bats and people. Skyhawk Hotel Delta on downwind leg. Let's see if it picked that up. Yep, seems to. No, it's not replying to me now. Skyhawk Hotel, Uniform Delta Delta, on downwind leg. Okay, let's see if it picks this up. If it doesn't pick it up the first time, just try it again. I'm using my full call sign. He'll come back short and probably... Skyhawk Hotel Delta, Roger, report base leg. Thank you. <laughs> That's brilliant. So realistic, chaps. It just really revolutionizes that ATC. Chalkage. By the way, you have to turn your default ATC off. I didn't mention that before, but have your default ATC. It's on the instructions on the uh, uh, Sane Tensions website. Turn your default ATC off. So when I get a little bit further, maybe a bit of a long video, but I'm sure you don't mind. People do like me doing these types of videos, so I'm, I'm all for them. Altitude 1000... Beaky, is that correct altitude it is? It just feels a bit lower than a thousand, but it's a thousand feet. I think the elevation around Heathrow is slightly higher as well. That's why he wanted me. It would normally be a bit higher, I think, in real life, but never mind. So a little bit further than a turn onto my base leg. Isn't this great? <laughs> Absolutely lovely. What I intend to do, let me know in the if people are still watching at this point, let me know in the comments. Would you like me to do a proper flight with you can uh, link your uh, oh, sim brief number? I can do a, something like a TBM 850 flight with sim brief. So do a very complex flight with this Say Intentions AI. Something I want to do anyway, but if you would like to see the results of that, do let me know. Beechcraft 90001 Bravo, clear to land runway 12, caution, wait turbulence from the departing jet. Isn't that pretty? Clear to land runway 12, Beechcraft 90001 Bravo. Right, turn on to my base leg. I've got lots of time to line up to the runway. Slow myself down to 50% throttle. Delta, right runway, report, three mile final. 
Right downwind runway 15 will report 3 mile final mooning 824 so impressed with this. Delta. I've got it turned up a bit loud, just so you can hear it properly get the full effect, people. I know people are saying, you still about that a bit lower, but no, I want you to have the full effect of that ATC. Okay. Skyhawk Hotel, uniform Delta Delta on base leg. Slow myself down a wee bit more while he responds in a moment. Hopefully. If he doesn't, I'll see what's going on. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, roger, report final for runway 27 right. Thank you. I shall report final one again. <laughs> what? Is anybody else impressed? You probably, hopefully, a few people have tried this. If you haven't, go and do that free trial. If that sim scares you, but it's something you want to get involved with, give this a try first. Learn the terminology. Don't have the box open. Write everything down so you can keep practicing reporting it back. It's excellent practice for that sim, only that you don't get yelled at. <laughs> I don't get yelled at a lot on that sim when I've tried it. It's just that the odd controller can be a bit narky. And difficult to understand as well sometimes, I'm afraid to say. By the way, that's a different subject. Right, well, as soon as I get towards runway 27 right, which is just yonder, I shall turn on. I'll turn on off the autopilot. Put the gear down. I'm at gear down speed. Let's just get a quick glass of water. But it's handy having that window open to see if they've understood you and to see if you didn't follow what they said. You can just have the window open to see what they just said. The messages are all there for you. Brilliant. And just the way it adapts, the realism of this is... It's blown me away, to be honest, guys. Okay, I'm going to put my gear down now as I'm turning towards final. Let's just try and keep my altitude as I turn here. Maintain altitude rather. There we go, doing a better job there now. Not too difficult. Bonanza 964 Foxtrot Alpha 2 hold short of runway 12 traffic on final. Yeah, I'm the traffic on final. <laughs> Bonanza 964 Foxtrot Alpha 2. Oh yeah, sorry guys, just trim a little bit. Skyhawk Hotel Delta Delta on final for runway 27 right. Hopefully it picks up on that. I may not be the correct way of reporting, but they'll tell me whether I'm clear to land or not. I wonder if, it, if another aircraft is landing, whether they'll tell you to do a circle. Don't know. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, clear to land, runway 27 right, report on the ground. Clear to land, runway 27 right will report on the ground. Right, so we're just clear to land on this runway here. It's next generation, isn't it, people? Just while we're landing, it's just that, again, I'm going to come back to the pricing. Well, listen, give it a try. If you like it, you can go and have it for a couple of months, or even a year, if you feel like splurging out. I just feel, say, intentions. I'm going to say it again. If that price can, pricing can come down a bit, get it down by another ten dollars you're gonna have a lot more people sign up for it i still urge people to try it. after you've tried it for a day you likely want to try it for a month or two skyhawk yeah, nine zero zero one bravo hold at taxiway alpha traffic on final <laughs> holding me. at taxiway alpha skyhawk nine zero zero one bravo <laughs> i'm the traffic they say something like there's a stupid cessna landing in a moment <laughs> If I want to here, I can now, now contact ATC. I won't do. Alpha might turn left, oh, heading 280, maintain 2,000 just feet finish. for traffic. Traffic again. That's me, I'm afraid. 2,000 feet, Skyline 422, Alpha Mike. Uh, if I want to, I can just request another pattern. I'll say my intentions have changed. I want to fly on to London City Airport. I won't do because it's going to make this video longer. But experiment with that. As you're coming into land, you think, I want another go of this. I want to do another pattern. Or I want to go on to another airport. Just say your intentions, practice, uh, maybe even research the best terminology. Uh, I'll try and find something about 
that uh, maybe that symptom Alpha X-ray hold short of runway 25 traffic on final. That's me again. Short of runway 25 Skyhawk 542 Alpha X-ray. <laughs> I'm causing a few delays. This slow old Cessna 182 is holding back all those aircraft. <laughs> And you can think, if you're on a live server, think of these as other aircraft waiting for you. They're not, obviously. That chatter is just next. It really, really elevates ATC to the maximum, people. I'll talk about hopeful Xbox adaptability for this in the future. What I hope will happen. I've heard nothing about this coming on Xbox, by the way, but... There we go, just lining up properly with this runway. Pappy lights, a bit low now, but I can see the runway. I, I'm in a Cessna, I'm not, not too worried. I'll report to uh, tower that I'm, I've Skyhawk landed. Skyhawk 542, Alpha X-ray hold, short of runway 25, traffic on final. <laughs> I'm in traffic again. Skyhawk 542, Alpha X-ray. I'll report to tower that I've landed, then switch over to ground for taxi to stand. There you go, throttle back now, and just... Try and do a nice gentle Skyhawk landing. Skyhawk 542 Alpha X-ray turn right heading 240 Ooh, floating, contact departure. Floating, floating. There we go, not too bad. Right to 240 contacting departure Skyhawk 542 Alpha X-ray. Get off the runway ASAP. Skyhawk Hotel Delta Delta landed on runway 27 right. I'll just taxi off there. Do 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 do. So it'll come back to me in a moment, no doubt. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, Roger Taxi to parking via Alpha Hold short of runway 27 left. Okay, so he wants me to taxi. Listen, chaps, I can do that. I can go and look at my uh, GTN XI. I'm going to leave it there. You get the idea. Give this a try. If you've got PC flights in, you like the idea of ATC, but you don't like the default like, the, like most of us don't, in fact. Give this program a try for 24 hours at least. If you do, I can near enough promise you you're going to want to take out a monthly subscription. Do let me know your thoughts on the video. Give it a like. If you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. And I'll be seeing you soon. Skyhawk Hotel Delta, welcome to Heathrow. Contact ground on 121.85. Okay, I'll just switch up. It's ground. <laughs> See you soon.